Hi, Dave here, and we have a new video of the uh, or a new episode of the art review series where we uh, take a look at the works of a particular artist. And again, I do have a lean. Um, I will obviously pick the artist that I think is kind of a uh, that I admire and would like some of their kind of um, or would love some of their elements in their work to be applied in my kind of own work and it's really just where I do some where I explore or analyze their work a bit and see what I can apply in my own um, work process okay so I believe this is episode 6 of the art review series and this time we're going to take a look at the work of uh, Eddie Mendoza now Eddie Mendoza is apparently a concept artist at Apple so <laughs> I don't know it, it, it's kind of weird um, but hey whatever so we'll start from his kind of bottom piece um, in his art station portfolio because uh, he does I think he does like to shuffle his work around to kind of present a uh, he, he, the point is his portfolio is not super clean when it comes to the timeline but uh, yeah we'll just start with the bottom piece and then work our way towards his kind of first piece that he likes to present so um, well this one is actually an, an old piece of this because this was done five years ago um, it's a kind of VR concept art kind of thing now if you compare this work from his kind of more recent work um, this one you can already kind of see his kind of um, essential style and Mr. Mendoza actually likes to do a lot of photo bashing and is actually pretty good at it and uh, we'll eventually see some of that later on but uh, yeah so here he has some kind of mechs some kind of a uh, organic kind of mechs and it's kind of set in a kind of native environment and this kind of thing where I think he also plays with the um, I think he also plays with the levels because it, it's his work is not always super contrasted he likes to add a little kind of a he doesn't like putting black as much or he uses it very sparingly so I'm going to assume he kind of uh, pump, uh, reduces the amount of leveling in terms of the kind of darks so you'll see in this kind of darkest of darks it's kind of grayed out slightly so I don't know I think that's a kind of very interesting um, thing now this one is a little too black for me um, but yeah you can see it's kind of photo bashing um, he obviously got better because this was done five years ago so this is kind of his very old old work but uh, yeah so he has to, well, <laughs> I'm not sure what this is but yeah and you can this one actually is a little more painterly uh, than you know his kind of more uh, well-known types of work but uh, yeah now for this piece uh, let's just see the kind of uh, oh this was done four years ago just to be so in about a year he apparently improved <laughs> Or maybe, you know, I'm not always, always sure, 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 but uh, um, maybe the kind of previous art piece or artwork is kind of based on a certain project. So he may, he may have had to change his style, um, but this is kind of more of his thing where he does a lot of photo bashing and it's kind of clean and he does a lot of mechs. Um, and of course, chicks, but he has a specific kind of chick that he uh, likes to do it's uh, it's always a chick with a bike <laughs> um, I've, I've never seen an actual kind of chick um, where it's just her and say some kind of environment it's usually just her and a bike you know, that's kind of his thing so this one is more of a mech it's kind of a giraffe inspired mech and I can see that because you know of the uh, kind of long neck and um, yeah, everything else is kind of just photo bashed, and I know I'm not supposed. Um, 
I do, I can photo bash. I mean, I'm not the best, but I can photo bash. But uh, right now, that's not actually my focus. Uh, I want to be, uh, I want to develop my more essential painting skills. Um, and then once I have kind of a good grasp of that, I want to uh, go in and add some photo bash. Or I want to keep my photo bashing minimal. Um, so you can tell, again, he's also good with kind of changing the levels. The foreground is a little more contrasted. And as you go further, it gets kind of lighter and lighter. So that's kind of basic kind of atmospheric um, stuff there. And he doesn't really have to think about like all the kind of uh, intricacies. I think it's he's just trying to uh, generate a concept, you know, he doesn't have to kind of work. Oh, well, this one's different. <laughs> if the previous one was conceptual, this is a little more kind of designy. Um, so this was done four years ago. This is actually kind of very, very specific. So again, I think this is, yeah, this is, um, I think this is photo bashed because uh, you can see the kind of cuts in the edges, but I almost thought in the very beginning this was some kind of 3D work, right? But my god, that's pretty cool, huh? Obviously this is 3D, but uh, I, I, or maybe he used some kind of a 3D base, maybe, and then, uh, but yeah, you, you can kind of see his kind of a, um, distinct kind of style a little bit in here so these are more weapon designs for the United Nations <laughs> I'm not a fan um, <laughs> crowd control the peacekeeper come on but the, but the designs though they're kind of a really really cool um, and again, maybe he did use some voter bash as well, in some way. Um, so this is a sci-fi interior concept of some hydroponics. Although I feel like these pipes are too big, but uh, eh, it's good enough. Um, I think this is some kind of PVC pipe, and then he just voter bashed it. And again, um. Even though he he likes to heavily uh, photo bash, he's actually I feel like he's more in control of it than me, and hopefully one day, <laughs> hopefully, I can kind of reach that same amount of control, because often my photos can kind of decide what my end piece will be, and I don't want that. I want to be the kind of lead in terms of the design, the storytelling, and everything. So this one is more of a. Uh, uh, some kind of dinosaur preserved or something, but uh, yeah. Again, he has a kind of nice base for the walls and ceiling, and then he just kind of uh, the silhouettes of this thing is kind of clean, generally speaking. And then this guy, this kind of thing here, some kind of shadow, and then that's pretty much it. But again, the photos do a lot of the uh, the major excuse me, detail work, and then he just, he's more of the kind of mastermind of this um, creation. Um, oof. So this is kind of a personal project of his, I believe, Noir, Noir City, Noir City, and uh, yeah, again, um, he's, he's great at the kind of atmospheric stuff, um, and he kind of makes things look very kind of in the same world and you can see some of that lighting here where he's uh, using it sparingly actually and he, he likes to con concentrate um, in kind of uh, these areas and I think this is the kind of the main focus because there's a bigger or sharper contrast here so yeah again I think he used photos for the most part um, and not a lot of 3d for this one, maybe, I feel. Uh, so this is a concept for a world where the 90s never ended. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think this guy is a 90s kid. Uh, maybe. Just maybe. Oh, so this is kind of a... Um, I can kind of see it. 
Um, hmm, yeah. And he does have a lean towards more sci-fi stuff. Heavily sci-fi stuff. Um, so this is Ministerith. Sci-fi redesigned of Ministerith from the Lord of the Rings. Now these kinds of buildings, I think this is from Soho. The kind of uh, design firm Soho. Am I right? Or if not, um, Zaha Hadid-ish. Because she does have a lot of... Uh, kind of very organic fluid forms in her architecture so that's what I'm going to assume and again he, you know he's pretty good at photo bashing and this guy's kind of overlooking his kind of oh his bike is kind of just um, right beside him which is pretty cool okay um, so this is a kind of safe house. It's not much, but it's home. I'm reading the kind of description in the side here. So, so it's inspired apparently by the Days Gone and the Last of Us. Okay. Again, heavily photo bashed, and the yeah, app, home sweet home, and I like the kind of slight details he adds in his environment or his kind of keyframes and stuff. Oof, and he also does a lot of character designs, specifically mechs. Wow, so it's a personal mech concept. So if you compare this mech to his kind of first um, kind of uh, collection of works in the very beginning with the kind of uh, native stuff, this one is way more advanced. Uh, this was done, posted three years ago, and uh, I like how he kind of apply the same kind of visual elements in this character and also this kind of mech. And again, it's super cool the way he kind of blends everything together. It reminds me of Johnson Ting's work, which I will be doing an art review of. And if you check out Johnson Ting's work on YouTube, he's amazing at this kind of photo bash thing. And sometimes it actually looks like 3D, which is like, Wow. And uh, for the environment, he actually kept it, you know, he probably just took the ceiling from somewhere else, the wall from somewhere from somewhere else, and then just added all of these kind of supplementary kind of elements in the back. And then, yeah, and some kind of nice soft shadows for the, uh, or cast shadows. And you can look at that. Let's uh, take a look. Whoa. So yeah, I would say he's pretty in control of this kind of photo bashing stuff. Damn. Next. So here we have another mech. Um, it's kind of a big dog, or the, the it's entitled Big Dog. So, <laughs> so this is one of his personal projects as well, and it's kind of a, uh, the kind of color is kind of different obviously it's more orange and stuff but uh, yeah again he likes to make it look very tight and i've noticed in a lot of kind of mech stuff um they do like to add i mean nowadays they kind of like to add some kind of fabric to kind of cover up the mech so it's a kind of mech that looks slightly organic um i'm starting to see that a lot on um, art station and everything So this is some kind of mining town and again inspired by Days Gone and Far Cry. Hmm. Interesting. Oof. So this is a personal sci-fi project. Zygote. Zygote market. And uh, again you can see it's kind of a... Uh, character designs here. It's some kind of mech I believe. Or suit, right? Harvester designs. And look at that. Look at this. Now that's some pretty good photo bashing right there. Oh, these are the harvesters. And they're kind of just maybe picking out some kind of weakling bitch. <laughs> or I don't know, maybe. Maybe they're kind of the, the supreme race. Or the kind of ruling power race. 
or or this could be our future surveillance state, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, if we let things, you know, keep going at this rate, this could be our future, folks. So this is more weapon design stuff, and I think it does like to focus on some weapon designs. Um, oh, by the way, Eddie Mendoza does have a few kind of uh, tutorials on his art station, and a few kind of P PSD kind of process, like step by step stuff. So you can kind of check it out, buy him, and uh, just study him and see how he likes to do things. Oh, here we go. The first chick with the bike. Uh, so it's a kind of a cyberpunk concept. And again, this is obviously voter bashed. Um, so I'm going to assume he kind of adds all sorts of body parts together as well. Because uh, you won't be able to find an exact kind of copy of or uh, kind of position for your uh, concept. So you will have to kind of do a little more searching and um, kind of combining and you can look at that bike wow so uh, I'm not sure where he got this kind of set texture but uh, damn look at that and again it's pretty good with the kind of atmospheric stuff and he does have a kind of gradient maybe he's using some kind of gradient map for his um, works because it looks so kind of um memorable um yeah yeah he does like this kind of aesthetic with the kind of highlights everywhere or kind of color dodge kind of light effects and stuff yeah Ooh. so this one actually reminds me of kind of an, an elysium type of work uh, world, excuse me, and um, yeah, so this could be a, some kind of keyframe for me. Um, again, another cyberpunk kind of concept, and uh, this could be something created by Boston Dynamics. So, <laughs> uh, imagine what they have stored for all of us. Okay, so this was oof. Wow, I think Eddie Mendoza is kind of seeing the future. Um, so there are apparently, oh, robot riots. So now the bad guys are apparently the robots. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So this is some kind of mech suit. Oh, shit, it's not, it's not a mech suit. It's kind of a... Like a supplementary kind of suit. Ah, uh, there's a word for it. It's kind of where it kind of uh, multiplies your kind of strength and stuff like that. But, uh, oh, this is some kind of dog. Woof, woof. And, ooh, this is some, this is kind of a nice car. Very interesting. Very interesting. Nice. So this, uh, this is a bloat house, apparently. It's a personal environment concept. What's a bloat house? Um, ooh, I love the kind of rusty kind of look. And uh, look at that. He can, he can literally create worlds from photos. And uh, yeah, one day I will. Be, um, okay, first I'm going to start with the painting stuff, and then eventually the kind of photo bashing, and then the kind of 3D stuff. For my own personal kind of development. Okay, another character design, but this time, well, it's kind of a cyberpunk thing with some samurai elements to it. So this apparently was sculpted in 3D code, then brought into Photoshop. Oh, wow. So he also apparently has a kind of good grasp of 3D. <sighs> Fuck me. Okay. Um, oof. Okay. I think we did discuss. Oh no, this this is a different kind of uh, uh, batch of weapons. Is this what is designing for Apple? <laughs> I'm a little scared now. Um, okay. Ooh, 
la capital. So, it's a personal environment concept inspired by Havana and Just Cuz. You mean the song? I think he means the song, right? Havana, ooh, la, la. Oof. Very nice. Very. Oh, is this a kind of fascist state <laughs> with the military everywhere? Okay, whatever. So it's this is a diesel punk. What's diesel punk um, project? Wow, this is kind of cool. I like the whole mech stuff. The mech designs? Nice. Did they use 3D here? Shit, I can't even tell anymore. <laughs> Fuck. And I love his... Oh, he. I think he used this before. Um, or maybe this is in kind of the same world as his kind of past works that we kind of uh, uh, observed or analyzed previously. Oh... Okay, this is a Game of Thrones inspired landscape. Um, the Giant's Arcway. Wow. Yeah, he can actually do more kind of natural landscapes. And it's actually pretty good. Look at that. It's a kind of clean, kind of a... Uh, this is probably in its own layer. And then he kind of added a photo or a bunch of photos. And then blended them to kind of fit his kind of narrative. And look at the kind of light thing here. It's kind of uh, showing in these parts. Wow. This is some cool shit, man. Cool shit. So this is more uh, character design. And uh, so it's based, it's a personal project based on a futuristic feudal Japan. Nice. Oof. And he also likes doing cars and stuff. Oh, excuse him. Wow. Sorry. Cyberpunk project, cyberpunk project, and uh, again, some very kind of. I think he used some kind of color dodge, overlay, hard light shit here. Um, cool stuff. So these are keyframes, personal keyframes for a personal brush. <laughs> For a personal project and um, you know I'm actually kind of very impressed by how people can use photos in their keyframes because keyframes have to be kind of dynamic generally speaking because they're kind of a a keyframe in say your kind of visual narrative storytelling concept or film um, and to be able to manipulate the photos enough to make it look like it's in a kind of dynamic position is very very interesting so yeah because usually when i think of photo bashing it's more kind of like this where it's kind of where everything is kind of still and it's more of a design kind of tool but yeah you can use it for kind of keyframes i guess look at that oh, so this one is not sci-fi this could be some kind of fantasy or some kind of alternate history stuff or who knows? Maybe this is kind of our past history and uh, Eddie Mendoza is kind of giving us like blips, you know, of information. Wow, look at that. So this one's kind of off for me. Right? You can kind of see it. it's kind of too red. But again, maybe that's kind of his storytelling thing where you, ha you kind of have to kind of look at this and maybe, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but look at that. That is an epic kind of scene. And again, it all fits, generally speaking, right? Cool stuff. Oh, he added some aqueducts here from Rome. These, I feel, are more like kind of Indian or Cambodian architecture, Hindu architecture. This could be some Egyptian kind of stuff. Well, maybe not. This one is kind of an arcway. Hmm. Is this gothic? Could be. Um, this one's definitely Indian or kind of Arabian with a kind of pointed arc at the uh, kind of apex. Okay. Super cool. Super cool. 
Oof, wow. Okay, this time this chick is with a car. And she has a kind of dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, and apparently you can tell that this chick is a little more painted than photo bashed. Um, so yeah, so this is a bourgeoisie. I think that's how you say it, bourgeoisie. The bourgeoisie. Um, okay. Bourgeoisie. Okay. Oh, here we go. Another chick with the bike. Neon chopper. Oh, look at that. Damn. Okay, although the face is kind of too big for the head. Everything else is perfect. So, oh, I love the kind of um bits of red here to kind of show the kind of lighting source of this kind of oof, this kind of Tron like bike. Damn, and some kind of reflection. So it's kind of a wet, kind of very polluted city. <laughs> but hey, nice bike. Nice bike. Uh, uh, come on, it's not loading. Okay. Ooh. So this is another piece of this kind of diesel punk project. And I like how he uses kind of the same photo elements to kind of signify or add to that atmosphere that this is also part of this kind of diesel punk world and one of the things about world building that's very interesting and very impressive to me is the way some artists can kind of make everything seem like they're from the same world you know what i mean and i think that's kind of a bigger kind of skill to kind of uh have and eventually i'll get there now i'm more of the kind of developing my kind of hard skill stuff because uh my photo bashing is not bad my painting needs work so but eventually i can definitely see myself creating worlds as well all right so this is a necropolis so it's a personal environment concept and again some kind of ancient history kind of stuff uh this is probably some greek stuff and yeah hindu guy huh all right cool stuff cool stuff Ooh, this is kind of he he does have a visual style mm, very cyberpunkish with the kind of lights color dodge probably overlay or maybe hard light soft light vivid light um linear something and again, chick with the bike. Oh, I love the bike. Look at that. Damn. Damn. And she's kind of just chilling in her bike, which is kind of cool. Nice. So this is more of a, I feel like a keyframe of something. Um, so he started apparently in 3D code and then brought it into Photoshop. Very interesting. So maybe this guy in the suit is kind of trying out this kind of mech suit and then, I don't know, pretty cool stuff. Ooh. So this is one of his concepts for a futuristic feudal, feudal Japan. Um, oh, he did add his mechs right here. You can see it. Okay, okay. So maybe those things are from this world, or maybe he just wanted to kind of fill out the uh, the kind of environment a little more. So let's read the description a bit. So this is a concept for a town built around the ruins of a crashed space spaceship, done for Ironclad Studios. Oh, so this is actual work. Okay, art director is Justin Gobby Fields. I think his, his his name is so familiar. Um, okay, very interesting. So this one is less painted or less his style, but uh, again, wow, this one looks so natural to me. Cool stuff, bro. <laughs> so these are some future SMGs, submachine guns, I guess. 
Damn. Oh my god. Looks cool. Oof. Ooh, ooh. Dr. Octopus. Um, so it's a concept for a more grounded and militarized version of Dr. Octopus. So he started in 3D code and then kind of just, uh, maybe he's just doing a kind of very simple base because I feel like he's using mostly photos here. And again, I can't tell. It's, uh, and he kept the environment kind of, uh, that's just kind of a flat piece right there. Okay, and uh, what's so great about photo bashing is that it saves time and you can kind of focus on the bigger picture stuff, which is really, 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 really cool. This reminds me of the kind of uh, the bad guy in the Ant-Man. I think it's because of the yellows and of course the kind of uh, insecty arms. So this is a mountain palace. Hmm. Oh, those are dragons right there. Wow. So this is kind of a Himalayan type of thing, Tibetan thing. I mean, it makes sense, you know, I can tell. It's kind of, he uses kind of very, very uh, distinct elements of that culture. Example, for example, this kind of a uh, um, things with the kind of little flags. I've seen them in that kind of part of the world where they have a lot a, a lot of colors in them. So yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Very interesting. Oof. Wow. Although this guy's kind of too short. Or maybe that's just the guy. Oh. Kind of a guy in a suit. Oh. Sorry. Uh, what? what? There's a name for this kind of uh, visual look. Um, steampunk? Maybe not. I, I don't think so. Um, Victorian steampunk-ish. Uh, fuck. Very cool environment design. Or this could be some kind of keyframe. Again, oof. Oh, I love the wheels on this one. You can't actually see the kind of rubber. So maybe this is some kind of advanced. Oh, I love the way he added those kind of uh, reflections of light in the wheels and again he's so great at kind of blending everything together um, and yeah again chick with the bike bike chick oh this one's different she has a car <laughs> oh rebel she's a kind of cop or maybe she's just kind of uh, luring in cops for uh, Oh, it's entitled The Bunny or Bunny. Nice. So uh, th these are more sci-fi gun concepts. Cool stuff. I think it does have a tutorial for guns, specifically in this kind of art station store. So this is a kind of gar car concept, um, kind of a Mustang muscle car. All right. He has to lean towards cyberpunk stuff. Wow. Wow. Um, another, another mech concept. Look at that. And that is so cool. And again, he likes to kind of maintain a kind of visual element in his work. That is so well done. Damn. I think he just used the kind of previous photo or from this kind of uh, background from his kind of previous mech stuff. Damn, look at that. That is so cool looking. And he also has good enough. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I mean, he has nice painting skills. It kind of blend everything, every other thing together really well. Look at that. Ooh. Another diesel punk project. Ugh. Oh, this reminds me of uh, the kind of Superman building where they have the globe on the top. Very cool. I love the kind of feel of the city. It looks busy. It looks... Oof, look at the train. Choo-choo, choo-choo. Choo-choo, motherfucker. Okay. Wow. 
a concept for a personal project inspired by retro technology. Yeah, and you also have some kind of retro mech. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. You know, I love the kind of look of it. It kind of makes sense, and the these kind of uh, kind of mechs actually fit in this world. And I love the kind of uh, fashion of this two chicks plus this guy. Makes sense for that kind of uh, time. Um, Uh, oof, the boulevard. So again, diesel punk project. Wow, this looks busy as fuck. And again, you can see those kind of mechs. So this could be 3D because, you know, yeah. And I love the kind of slight storytelling he has here. The guy kind of looking over his, his shoulder slightly. Why is he in the middle of the street though? <laughs> Rebel. Ooh, chick. Uh, so that's the kind of chick with the car. Um, I think it's a chick. Right. <sighs> Hopefully, you don't. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, this is some kind of spherical wheel. A spherical wheel. This guy is insane. Look at that chick. Uh, yeah, that's your bike, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I love the kind of rain effect. Look at that kind of mist, kind of the uh, the uh, the rain bits kind of flickering off. He didn't even show like little droplets, but just a simple soft brush gave that effect. Wow, this guy is a fucking pro. Step aside, step aside, Mendoza is in the house, fuck. And again, those kind of highlights, kind of a color dodge, hard light stuff. Very, very interesting. Oh, the water temple. Wow. So he's actually kind of good in world building as well. Oh, I, I love the kind of light there. The light is kind of the light source is kind of in this side, kind of goes through this kind of little arcway and then oh hits this kind of Hindu guy. Whoa, that is some cool storytelling right there. You know, at first big picture stuff you'll actually look here, I think, because it's just the biggest kind of contrasting part. You've got the light bit here and then a dark kind of arcway here. And then I think it'll eventually Go here and then here. Wow. And here and then here. Wow. Fuck. Pro. Agent Orange. Hmm. Are you talking about Vietnam stuff, my brother? <laughs> ah, okay. By the way, guys, I do suggest you kind of uh, be aware of certain historical events, just because um, it's you'll become e less easier to fool, you know, and you won't be easily led by uh, all kinds of uh, propaganda. Oof. Uh, okay, so this guy is a beautiful mech of all his mechs, of all his mechs. This guy just kind of speaks to me. Um, look at. Ah, look at that. And this guy is actually kind of thick. You know, this guy be working out. He be working out. Um, and he does have a kind of, um, again, a, a visual look for his kind of mech series. Uh, where the kind of joints do have a kind of a round bit here. And then everything else, or a huge part, part of it, is kind of covered up with some kind of fabric that uh, serves as its kind of skin, protective skin even, and he doesn't like to draw the foot. So it's more of a kind of balanced, very balanced kind of a mech. Oh, look at those hands. Damn you. Damn you. Yeah. 
So this one is a personal fantasy project. Now this actually kind of gives me Game of Thrones vibes. Uh, yeah, or maybe The Witcher. Perhaps. Perhaps. The pit stop. Um, environment concept. Although this actually looks like a keyframe for me. Nice. Well, he does have a lot of mix. Wow. Very cool. Oof. Inspired by Days Gone and the, the Last of Us. Now, I know The Last of Us is a game, but is Days Gone a game? Um, wow, look at that mood. It's very foresty, misty. And then this cowboy is just uh, kind of a cowboy. It's just uh, dropping by. Wow. I love the mood. The atmosphere. Oof. Finally, a kind of a... <laughs> Again, a chick with a bike. Damn. Damn. Um, cool stuff, bro. Oh, I like the wheels. Um... Although, how would you be able to turn this, right? <laughs> it's a pretty long bike. But it's hot. It's so hot. Oof. So this one is a personal project again. And it's kind of winter Japan. Or Korea. Is that a... Uh, I'm not. Sure, I forgot what kind of call. What kind of dog this is? Uh, it's kind of the. It's a small kind of dog. That's very common in kind of the Eastern Asia stuff. Anyway. Uh, hmm. The witch is in. So it's another fantasy. Also, he does have a few fantasy stuff here and there. Ooh, wow, th these were some pretty awesome keyframes. Oh, the Bloodshot film. Damn. Damn. Wow. Again, he's pretty. He's using a lot of photo backing for his keyframes. Very impressive. Oh, I love the kind of effect here. Oh, the lighting, the flare. And these are, I think, some kind of nanoparticles. Wow. Ho, ho, ho. I actually didn't watch the entire film. I just watched it in the beginning. Oh, this reminds me of... Uh, shit, what's the uh, the Hawaiian Disney film? Is it Disney film? Shit, the kind of... Um, Maui? <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot. Sorry. Damn... Damn. So it's a cancelled project and it's a world building thing. So it's a very Polynesi Polynesian kind of uh, influence thing. Very interesting. <laughs> Again, another bike with a chick. Oh, she has another chick with a bike. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, a lot of police stuff. Um, not a fan. <laughs> Very interesting. Oof, so this girl is just, um... It's a cyberpunk, cyberpunk project. And uh, maybe this is, um... Our future. Where everything is just kind of online and the kind of real world is just empty and uh hmm. <laughs> in a uh, it, I, I mean i understand this is some kind of concept but nowadays a lot of concept so-called concept art is just kind of very um well it's realistic in terms of the idea and it's no longer something to be explored it's just it's pretty close to fucking reality. So, uh, yeah. 
Scary stuff, bro. Oof. Fantasy concept. Nice. These are somewhere, these are very European. Um, I've seen this before. <laughs> it's, I forgot where this is located, but uh, whatever. Ooh, the monks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, okay, this is another concept. Uh, personal project stuff. The last train. Hmm. So again, another personal cyberpunk with the chick. She's kind of part mech now. Nice bike though. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Wow. Wow. Fantasy stuff. So he does have a little more fantasy, although he's kind of dominant in the kind of cyberpunk sci-fi area he can do some fantasy i mean he has proved it oof so he does have a tutorial for this one on his art station um wow look at that uh, the kind of atmosphere the very dark foresty atmosphere this one is scarier than the kind of cowboy thing we saw earlier so wow Kudos, kudos to you. Oof. Okay. So this is kind of in the same world as, as his kind of monk stuff. The kind of Hindu related thing. A lot of photos. It's, uh, and he made it work. Very interesting. Very interesting. So this is his kind of, this is his kind of, I don't know, his most famous piece. And he, yeah, I think he knows that because he uh, placed this in the very kind of beginning of his portfolio. And I am making this the thumbnail of Mr. Eddie Mendoza. I mean, it's perfect. <laughs> I mean, damn. Um, even though it's kind of simple, you're seeing it from the kind of portrait side. And you're kind of seeing it from slightly below man's eye. But look at that, it just makes sense. It is what it is. So I do hope you uh, take a look at the work of Eddie Mendoza, especially if you're trying to get in into uh, photo bashing. I would recommend you kind of download some of his stuff and use that as a kind of reference of, you know, how good something is or how good your photo bash bashing ought to be. Because this guy is... A god. And yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, eventually I will be definitely going deeper into photo bashing. But right now, I want to develop my neglected painting skills. So, anyway, I'll see you in the uh, next art review. And uh, I hope you have a, uh, a good day. Stay free.